Do not fear, I will be MIA, but for now, I'm still here in this universe, in this life. Hi, it's Maria. Welcome back to the one and only Neat Slap and K-Pop podcast. And of course, as per usual, whenever I show up, these other two people are here with me. We got Kayla. Hello. And we got Sammy. Hello. Yeah. Woo. They're both here. Woo. I'll be MIA probably for a month, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, you know, life happens sometimes. Life goes busy. on. <laughs> it does. And this comes out the end of September. So you might be back by the, <laughs> by the time by this then. comes yeah. out. <laughs> I mean, eh, it'll be probably at least a couple weeks, most likely. But, you know. You know, but we'll anyway. figure something out. Yeah. Maria will be around eventually. She'll be eventually, back again. Eventually she'll return. Yes, yes. Eventually, because it's called moving. And also, eventually she will have returned because yes. the previous... We don't record these in order that they come out, guys, yeah. if you haven't yeah. picked no, up on if that. We, Not even we sometimes record these months in advance. Like, Oh, yeah. yeah. It's mid-August that. right now, guys. <laughs> yep. It's mid-August, but I'm doing a lot in the short term to get ready to move. So I got I got to use up my weekend. So yep, it's yep. great. So that's why we're recording now. <laughs> Hooray. But Yay. we are here for to bring in the positivity of the 10 worst songs of the, the year. The 10 worst songs <laughs> of the positivity of the 10 positivity. worst songs. <laughs> hey, we're positive. We positively hate these songs. We do. We do. Uh, I'm always the one that's second guessing everything, but you know, I would, I, I won't disagree. Maria on has things. less hate in her heart than me and she Kayla does. do. You know, it's not that I don't hate things. It's just that I choose not to be angry as much anymore. You know, I just, I just want to see the positive in a lot of things. We'll point out the negatives for sure. Do not worry. We will get to those negatives, but I'm just like, some of it's just stupid corny shit that I used to listen to. No, one though, one though is going to be do. an interesting discussion for me. Number one's going to be an interesting discussion. Oh, boy. Number that one. one's going to be interesting. Just, Just wait. wait for we, number one. Time. Oh boy. Here's the thing. We did this for reasons. Mm-hmm. There are reasons it's here, and there's reasons that it needed to be here. Mm-hmm. But at number 10, to start off, we have uh, our returning player. Mm-hmm. Always Can always be counted on <laughs> for this list. Of course. Uh, we have You Kiss with Neverland. Honestly, kind of iconic, but also kind of cringe, but also iconic. I don't think cringe. I can, will call anything you kiss ever call iconic. Okay, well, yeah, nothing you kiss has done is nothing, iconic. You really. kiss was like, never I don't know enough if I of can a level to be that. iconic. Yeah. <laughs> they were definitely easily the most, uh, many people considered them underrated. I don't think we do, but many people did. I mean, I wouldn't go as far to say underrated for you kiss. If you like you kiss, you, I would, if you are a you kiss fan, they were never popular, so yeah, by that logic, they were underrated. Right. Yeah. I, guess. I think that there was a reason that they were unpopular, but there's you know, a, yeah, I would say can there. Disagree. I would say yeah, there would be. A, there's a reason, but you know. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. This is also the era where, like, the only interesting person in this group was still Kevin before yeah, they lost Kevin that. and became fully uninteresting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You so, kiss like, another the- another group who did a second gen comeback and this uh, resurgence comebacks, and for some yep. reason Eli was there, and I hated that a lot. Oh god, Eli was there, but somehow Kevin, but Kevin wasn't, wasn't cause there because that makes a lot of we're sense. We're okay you with know? Eli, but not with Kevin. Crazy Kay. stuff. They're like will say, you kiss is like super weird. Their music like it's such a weird. It's just a weird vibe overall. This is weird techno bullshit. Yeah. Is what I like to call this weird songs, techno bullshit. Just, weird techno bullshit because they're yeah. it's techno, but it kind of doesn't go anywhere or do anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a lot of these like early ten songs in the second gen where it's a lot of weird techno bullshit, and it's like not even fun enough to be like weird Euro pop techno bullshit. Yeah, because at least that's got energy. Mm-hmm. This is just weird techno bullshit. Yep, yep. Also really the only person out here like trying to live his best life is kevin and i'm saying trying he's, he's trying, trying. His yeah. best. the other ones and there's a lot of them i forgot how big you kiss yeah, was there's at a one lot point. of people mm-hmm. in you kiss there's more people in you kiss than i thought there was but that's because you kiss dropped like flies they did and then got replaced with other people they didn't fully ever like ship a Theseus, but they did have quite a lot. They tried. They almost of people. did. Though. Yeah, there was a lot of people. And that, then like... I forget that the kid that we hate 
June is also in you kiss technically yes. and I'm like I how oh, I like true. it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Uh, but he was in like one song for them and yeah. then and then and then wasn't in and then the he new, came an like, actor revival. really yeah. Yeah, because he's like, I am now too big for you, Kiss. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, to be too big for you, Kiss, is not a high bar. Right. That's not a high bar to cross. Right, right. I don't know. This song felt like it was, it thought it was more than it was. For sure. Pretty boring overall. Yeah. It's very nothing. Mm -hmm. It's very much one of those songs that would have benefited from the new current trend of everything being two and a half minutes instead oh, of three yeah. minute thirty. It does, yes, because it does feel like it's really long. It does. It does. Yeah, it feels too long. Feels a little too long. Mm -hmm. But yes, that was you kiss. Yeah, I will say the only thing I think I liked about the song too was just like them doing the dance with like them splashing the water. It's like so extra and dramatic for no reason, but it's there. I don't know why, but here we are. Look, and I'm someone that loves put a cape up boy in about two inches of water. Right. Sure. <laughs> but like, two inches of water. you kiss in two inches of water. <laughs> there, I also never thought you kiss was super good at dancing, to be honest. No. Fair. Yeah. I thought that they were That's never fine. been something they've been known for, I would say. No, not at all. And like, this is still second gen where everything was like kind of boring and kind of basic. So yeah. they fit really, really nicely in those boxes of boring and basic. Mm -hmm. All right. So at number nine, um, we have Girls Day with Twinkle Twinkle. <laughs> I forgot. You, you one almost forgets that Girls Day tried to not bunch, be bunch. sexy. Tried to be sexy. Yeah, they yeah. were cute. Apparently. And they were cute when they started, and then yeah. you realize, oh no. Early. You wonder Girls why Day. Girls Day never became cute later in their career, and you're like, oh, because they were, and it was a terrible idea. Early yeah. Girls Day was really also a choice. Twinkle Twinkle like, is oh kind of like God. one of those that I also think is bad, but also kind of iconic, but also just bad. But just it's, cringe, it's but it's, good. like, catchy, but cringe. Like, it's, it, it's also almost to the point where it's, like, cute sexy. Yeah, it is in that And that weird... was always the problem yeah. with Girls' Day, because they always had, to, because they were not super young. Like, they were young, but they weren't, like, children. Right. So yeah. anytime that they did a cute concept, it also became weirdly cute sexy. Yeah. And that's an oxymoron that I hate. That's one of the concepts we famously hate in K-pop is the cute but trying to be sexy. It's like, yeah. It's, and like, it's there's very, a way to do uh, like a more chill, sexy concept. And that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about when you are doing the mannerisms of a cute concept while also dressed like in a, like, like in a, in a sexy outfit yeah. mm -hmm. that I hate. We that's very that's very a specific trope that happens a lot of times, and it doesn't work. It does not work, and you know, no matter who does it, it's never a good concept for no. like anybody. The problem is the concept; it's not the people. Yeah, no one will ever make it work because it's uh -huh. an oxymoron. Yeah, girls. The thing with girls' day is also. The one thing you give Girls Days, Girls Days are good singers. Yeah, they can sing. They oh yeah, they, they can't sing in the song. But when we're doing cute, good. sexy, song, yeah. it's like, why? The auto tune's also bad. Yeah. Uh, the girls are all singing. I guess all what appears to be an octave higher than they should be. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's too high. Child of voice. It's way too hard. In like squeaky child voice. Yep. I famously we hate squeaky child voice. Yeah, I don't love that either. Squeaky child voice on an adult woman, worse. Really bad. Yeah, like extra bad at that point. Yeah. Like you're an adult. I know you don't sound like that. And also, they weirdly almost look like they don't want to be singing like this. Yeah. Oh no, how they don't that? look happy doing this. I don't know. I'm just happy Girls Day decided that no, this was a bad idea. This was absolutely and not the type did of song again. we needed to do. Yeah. <laughs> And then once they hit their, like, once we get to Sexy Girls Day, great. they're a sexy group that, like, really worked, never felt like the weird Nugu sexy that we also don't like. Yep. They just were a good sexy group. I know. It took, a, it took them a bit to get there, but once, took them a while once to we get, get rid of this weird cute thing that they were doing, uh, all for the better. Oh, absolutely. This was a yeah. This everything was a, about this yeah, was a mistake. Yeah. Was, yeah. 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 Well, they moved away from it, so, well, which makes sense. I mean, let's be honest. We talked about one last month, which means they were still doing this a year later. Yeah. Honestly, worse. 
They this is not as bad as the song we talked about last month. The last month one was quite a lot. <laughs> it was quite a lot. This one is not as bad. Right. It just doesn't work in any capacity. Yeah. It is overall a bad idea. But yeah. All right. On to the next one at number eight. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this group's interesting. As I say, this is similar to Teen Top where it's one member and then the backup dancers. This is also one member and the backup dancers. Except in the early days of this group, my God, the use of autotune was just terrible. At number eight, we have Four Minute with Mirror, Mirror. And no, it ain't like a fairy tale. It's no. an auto tune. Here's hellscape. the thing with this <laughs> is I always feel like Four Minute was a little bit Hyun and the backup dancers. Yeah. But never really in their line distribution. Right. Because, like, Hyun yeah, was not only the line a rapper. distribution. Like, I agree. All, the line distribution's fine. Like, Hyun is not doing infinitely more than the other girls. Mm-hmm. No. She just got infinitely more attention than the other girls. Yeah. The vibe was always, like, more a focus on her, except yeah, yeah. the song contents were more evenly balanced i would say that we top. never really get to talk about four minute because four minute is usually fine they're fine like they're none of their music bad. has been good enough that we put on a like the good list Not that their good music has bad though but then then usually it's never then you get something like this yeah and then we're here which is just one we start with the phrase that Hiena only knows how to pronounce four minute slut which is not what she's saying but yeah, it is no. what you hear it is what you hear. <laughs> then you get into bad auto tune yep. through the whole thing. Yep, yep. And then you get into the most nothing chorus I've ever heard. Love it. She is trying to say it's... four minutes left, except it comes out as four minutes slut for some reason. Yes. It's all you hear. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's just not interesting. And like four minute usually has got like I mean, for all the good, like the iconic four minute songs which are like usually coming a little bit later like you're crazy even like hate and all volume up there's like a lot going on Mm -hmm. this is very sparse there's not much happening nope and what is happening sounds bad unfortunately yeah i don't know what i don't even fully know what this what they're going for i don't even know what this is i I just i'm just like what is this it's it's four minute in a weird. I'll put it this way: there's a reason why I didn't start to like four minute music until like volume up. Honestly, yeah, they they are really in a weird era of music if for a while. Yeah, the thing with four minute is I think four minute starts really strong, weirdly slumps, and then turns it back around after a while. But dear God, do they hit a real slump in there? They did. They really like did. early four minute is vi- like everyone remembers hot issue. Most people don't remember another song until, like, what? Volume Up, which is, like... Yeah, Volume Up's like, probably the first one Five you think years later? Good. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's, like, five years after their debut. Like, there's a lot in there where they're not doing... <laughs> We're not doing a lot. Or it's, like, three years after their debut. Like, there's a lot of songs in there that, like, no one wants to remember. Yeah. Because this is also in the era of... Uh, there's the two songs that I confuse all the time. It's, like... What's your, it's like, what's my name or something? What's your number or something? What's my, what's your name? And, and then, the uh, other one? What's, uh, something. what you doing? Yes. I'm like, there's two songs Those that are two. like, I, for, I confuse them always. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are also weird eras of four minute. I think four minute just kept, much like a lot of cube groups, uh, four minute just kept getting thrown different things to do with. Mm-hmm. and sort of made do with whatever goddamn concept Cube wanted to do, whether good or bad. Yeah. It's just that at some point, 4-Minute got a couple, sh- like, when 4-Minute do- gets a decent song, they do it really, really it's really well. good. Because mm-hmm. you get, like, crazy and stuff like that, which I think are very good 4-Minute tracks. What's your name and what you doing today? Those are the two, the actual names. Yeah, 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 yeah those two. And then there's also yeah. going crazy, and then... Yeah. Yeah. Um... But yeah, for, we've also talked about this in our like discussion on Cube Entertainment, where it's like Cube didn't know what to do with this group other than Hyanna and friends, and that like really, yeah. really showed. Um, unfortunately, for the other members yeah. of Four Minute, yeah, pretty much. And like, I think that this group also does show the fact that even when 
Cube gets a hit group, gets a popular group. They really actually have no idea how to manage girl groups. No clue. You look they at four minutes no music, and like it were like four minute has a decent discography, and they were popular. But I wouldn't say that they were well managed. Uh-huh. Nor does their sound, sa- nor does their discography sound in any capacity cohesive mm-hmm. in any way. Yeah, yeah. It just sort of seemed like they were just doing things. And because 4-Minute was popular, 4-Minute continued to be popular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A much. lot of, uh, I think, Cube's girl group ports, like popularity also came from individual members as well. Because yeah. that also happened with G-Idol. And it's like, I don't even know if I can give Cube credit for like that popularity. Because like, what did they actually do there? <laughs> They acquired Hyuna from a different company. Yeah. And then uh, sent one girl onto produce. Yep. And that's it. Yep, yep. All right. Speaking of people that have had weird career progression. Uh, yes. Um, at number seven. Before yes, the yes. scandal. At number seven, we have another mainstay on these worst lists. We have Tiara with Rolly Poly. There they are again. They're here often. There they are again. This is one of their more iconic songs that we still don't like. Still don't like Um, it, yeah. This song is... They still continue to sound terrible because they are singing with weird auto-tune that doesn't... That also just matches the weird auto-tune that is this beat. Yeah. Which is bad. Yep, yep. I don't know. There's just something about Tiara where I don't see the appeal. I don't see it at all. Because the songs aren't good. They're not that catchy. I, I see the I appeal because um of a specific type of, like, person who likes these, like, really bizarre, like, camp, campy songs. Where it's like, well, every time I hear these songs that are like, they're like, this is so bad that it's good. Like, there's a specific type of person who's, like, there really is. into that. But my thing with them is I don't think that they are ridiculous enough to be camp. I think that there is not, it is not going far enough to be camp. It's too safe to be camp. Because I think that they are still trying to appeal too much to a mainstream audience. And also, I think that they just sound so bad. I like the theming, though, of the music video. This is one of the more fun music videos that have come out of this era. I like the disco. I like the disco part of it. It's fun. It's very camp. Yeah, but it's kind of just, throw them in, like, any thrift store. And that's sort of what they're wearing. And then put them on a date. Like, I don't think it's... I like... Th- I think, I, think I like it because it's giving elements of trot. It's giving trot a little bit. Trot yeah. crazy. I, 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 I hate, I just I hate it trot over music. So <laughs> that'll, like, that'll, trot. Fair. that'll explain I, it there. I also just think that they just sound so bad. Like, they're so on the highest register of what can be heard by humans. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> before it becomes are. an actual dog whistle. Yeah. Not in the racial way, but in the actual physical dog whistle oh, way. Yes, yeah. yes. Like, it's so high. It almost sounds like a whisper. It's so high that they can't maintain volume with it. It's reaching the point where it feels like it's not a person singing this song, almost. Like, and the thing is, you can hear the autotune so well, it's not a person. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the thing with Tiara. I always feel like Tiara, I'm like, why is Tiara singing so low? Like, volume-wise. Right. And it's because they're singing so high, they can't maintain the volume Yeah, you in cannot voice. maintain, like... A sound when it's that high. That's why they're whispering. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just that I, their entire aesthetic is not something I've ever been that into. No. Eh, they're very much kind of just there. That's sort of the, the tiara thing for me is that they were around for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And then had all the other things happen. Yes, yes. Yeah, then but... also, yeah, their entire career as a group has also been a choice. Yeah. A lot of things happen there. And that's like that's besides the point really. Their music has always yeah. been bad, but And the other thing with this is that I feel and here's the one thing I will say about this song. This song feels like fi- like Tiara found one way to make a song yeah. and then made it that way for like fi- because you can't how much different is this as opposed to roll uh, to Lovey Dovey as opposed to Bo Peep 
as opposed to like four other tiara songs. It's like the True. original Momo Land. This is like original Momo Land situation yeah, where we, they had one song it that was really good, and then they made the same song like multiple times because in a row. All of oh. those songs are so. Because I'm like, didn't we cover this song last month? And it's because we did Love Like, no, we did a month. similar. Like, we did song. a similar but different song last year. And like Tiara does this song forever until they do like weirdly even more uh, even worse songs yep which we'll get to we'll, get, well technically they did that even worse song first but <laughs> they did that one first yes so at number six uh we have block b with freeze So, oftentimes we have a lot of debut songs on uh, our good list because, mm-hmm. you know, debuts are tried, they're true. It's the literal longest amount of time you will ever have to make an album and a, and a song. And sometimes you choose to make this. Yep. What is this? It's, it's really, it really sounds nothing like any of Block B's other music. <laughs> Really and Block B themselves have said that this is a choice. Yeah. I think they've disowned this song. It's like as they super should. electronic. They look like, it's like they are also styled like weird in, techno, like, weird bullshit. techno, but also like it's really shiny, the music video. And there's also like a lot of sequins and like rhinestones. It's kind of blinding because they have weird lights in the back that are just shining in your face. It's the closest I've ever seen Block B to try and be kind of sexy. Like, they're trying to do something in this video. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's sexy, if it's romance. I don't know what it is, and they're not pulling it off because it's Block B. Right. It's the boys of Block B trying to do it. This is not the, um, not the Block B aesthetic at all. No. No, this is, it's, oh god, it's weird It looks like like they're being held hostage. It looks like they were held hostage. Which they kind of were, come to find out. Not exactly held hostage, but their company was shit, come to find out. They had to fight to get out of there, uh, yeah. eventually. Um, but, um, God, this debut is just cringe to the max. They hate it. They they fucking hate this debut. I think they've said it publicly, I'm pretty sure. Um, the, the fashion is just... The fashion and the hair, the hair also, the hair. hair. Zico's hair is like I said with like I said with that Neil thing. I feel like they really got all them like '90s crimp irons. They finally made it to South Korea by like 2011. Mm -hmm. Everyone's hair looks crimped, and I think that's a mistake. I don't know why that's a choice we've made, but it is a thing that they're doing. I don't know. Also, everyone's hair is just very like. Why is everyone's have half their head shaved. Yeah. What's happening? Why does Taya look like that? Period. Just generally. Everything about his styling was a choice. Why do any of them look like that? But specifically him, he looks terrible. He looks especially bad, yeah. He looks especially. Then, honestly, just onto the song part, what is this? It's like the weird electronic bullshit again. Like, that was really popular back in the day where we just made, like, really bad electronic music. And it just sort of just is... Just very similar to the uh, UK song where it's just things happening, no rhyme or reason, just sort of bleeps and bloops. Bleeps and bloops. And we're just going to keep going Mm -hmm. and just get through three and a half minutes. Again, three and a half it's minutes. So, They're so long. It's so long. It's such oh, a yeah. long song. Maybe song. now songs are too short. Yeah, songs Probably. now are definitely like two too short. Two and a half short. minutes are a little too short. But songs now yeah, are too long. too long. Yeah. These songs are too long. I think it's the songs that would make them sound so long is their songs. They are songs that shouldn't be long and they are normal length, no. but they are too long. They just feel like they go on for another two choruses too many. Yeah. Like it's a long song. Speaking of songs that are still too long. Yep. This is a, this is. Oh boy. This barely counts. I, I know. It, bar- it, it barely should be on this list, but you know. And yet it needs, we, the, the culture needs to know. They gotta know. The people have to know. But yeah, moving on to the next song on our list. It is actually a girl group that 
we actually I see is our favorite girl group from this one company in particular. I would say at this point. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a lot of options yeah, there. Sure. There's like by no, default, there's not options. many options. It's, there's not many options there. It's between well, them and one more as options. I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah, kind kind of. And then the other ones are on our shit list. True, pretty much. Also, compared to their number of other groups, they don't have that many to pick they from. They don't. There's really not a lot. There's really four. Yeah. Yeah, for the girl groups. Yeah. And they're batting 50 50 on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Not gonna lie. Um, But yeah, this is a song that I wonder even if people who are fans of this group even freaking remember. I, I think oh, most people don't know no, this. Honestly, most people this don't song. know this song. Honestly, there's fans of this group that don't know, that have not remembered this song. Oh, yeah. Or maybe don't know. Or Probably. maybe are choosing to forget it. Probably. But at number five, we have SNSD, aka Girls' Generation, with Visual Dreams. Which I am pretty sure is a uh, who's the collaborator like Hyundai or Intel. LG Intel Intel there we go. yeah Intel. it's yeah it's it's an Intel collab song yeah and it sounds like it was like here's the thing not now not at this time in contemporary of when this song was made but this sounds like AI music it does it sounds like music made by an AI it does. And sung by an AI. It's such a weird song. And yet, if you told me to make an AI girl generation song, it would make this. So, you know. I guess it works the collaboration with Intel? I, I, for, I don't know. It, it, it weirdly so does make sense as, like, an, an Intel CF. Like, it makes sense in that way, but it, that doesn't mean it's good in any capacity. Oh, yeah, nah. These girls look like they are being held hostage in this they video. They do not look at all. Granted, so thing, girls' generation yeah. looks always looks like they're happy, fun, peppy. This is a commercial. Also, a lot and of Sunny in this commercial. Like least happy. A lot of Sunny. I mean, Sunny does have the most AI style voice. They fit yeah. with whatever the hell this concept. Sunny is. just left SM Entertainment. <laughs> she did. Wait, really? Congrats to Sunny. Yeah. Yeah. What, actually? Like two days ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I missed that entirely. So who's left? Taeyeon? Hyoyeon? Taeyeon might be on her way out, too. <laughs> Taeyeon might be on her way out. Taeyeon seems very unhappy with I mean, SMH let's be honest, Chen right just now. made his own company, so he's on his way out, too. Backhand? Yeah, and didn't, like, Backhand, the, didn't, like the other two of CBX try to leave, and then their guests are not they, leaving yeah, right they, now? Yeah, they tried to, tried to file a lawsuit and then didn't file a lawsuit, yeah. Yeah. That got dropped. So I guess they're just waiting for their contracts to write up before they bounce, probably. I mean, Beckett already started his own company. Apparently. Oh, okay. With, uh, without the knowledge of SM without Entertainment. Without SM so. Entertainment's knowledge. <laughs> Crazy stuff happening there right now. Oh, yeah. A lot's happening with SM Entertainment. Mm -hmm. This was a bad choice. Yes. I hope the money was worth it. I hope they got a buttload I hope of so. money for this. Because, like, oh, yeah. why else would they But then again, this it? is 2011 SM Entertainment. These girls saw maybe 10 cents of it. Yeah. True. But overall, this like this is just a bad song. It is. It is really a bad song. It's, it's weirdly electronic, but it's electronic in like a different way than the other songs are. It's just like does sound like it was sung by a robot type of electronic. Yeah, it's very girl trying to be robot. Yes, very much that aesthetic. Which I don't know why that's an aesthetic, but it is. No. And that's not girl generation's aesthetic. No, I don't think that should be that's the desired aesthetic for anybody, really. No. But, like, if if it's going to be, it's not for them. No. But, yeah, I I, I feel like this is just one of those things. It's just like, yeah, the CF songs tend to be shit, so. They tend to, I don't, it depends on the CF song. Some of them can be okay. I think now, especially, they're either ignorable or decent. They're not. I feel like it's been a while since we've had them be this shitty. Yeah. A lot of CF... Like a it's special like, level of shitty. It's really easy to discount CF songs, just, like, not mattering for anything, because there's, like, a really good chance it's gonna end up bad. Like, I don't know why, yeah. but there's so many CF songs that are I just mean, let's be honest, the worst the group has ever made. because half of them are collaborations. Mm -hmm. This isn't, though, but, like, there's many that are just collaborations, which, like, seem like they took maybe, what... A couple of, like, a week 
someone sat in a room for like 20 minutes and made the song yeah. and that's what they no one's gonna use their a material in a cf song true yeah no nah. all right at number four we have Raina with dr feel good What a throwback also what a group as well like what a actually hot mess of a group hot mess of a group very also i bet you some of you remember this song and just have forgotten that it was made by a k-pop group because that whole chorus if you remember any part of it's the chorus that chorus is not in is in english Uh uh-huh it is what is this? this it's like what is too. like the group the group really i think adds to it because like I mean, what this, is going is, on with this group this is almost the prime example of our new goo sexiness yeah because what are these lyrics uh-huh doctor, what is doctor this video feel good uh I have to say, I love that line, but the rest of the song, I don't care for at all. Like, there's bits of... It, it also has the fun techno bullshit of having one of the most annoying beats mm-hmm. I've ever heard. Oh, yeah. It's just a lot of beeps and bloops. It's a lot of bleeps and bloops. It's just, like, super sexy it's, in, like, a really uncomfortable It's like, I wouldn't way. say it's really music, it's just noise. It continues the trend I find in a lot of sexy songs where the backing track is so loud... And the vocals are so low, so you can't hear them. Mm-hmm. But that their vocals aren't the important part. I want to just make it known that this group has 19 listed members in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Over yes, the course of their uh, existence Whole as career. a group. Oh, yeah. It's a group that really tried it. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. They were, they were here for years. Mm-hmm. Around in the outskirts. Oh, yeah. Now what are trying they, to do or, this Do they have anyone who's Korean in the group now? Like, what the, the hell? The group does. So the group. Show? Okay, so the group Blacks or Reina doesn't exist. One of them goes on in 2020 debuts in Black Swan, that's which is Swan. in the same company. So that's kind of like the spiritual it's continuation kind of, the spiritual of Reina. Successor. Um, of Reina. but that member's no longer in the group, and none of the current members of the group Black Swan are Korean. So like, who knows really what the situation yeah. there is? And none of the members of current Black Swan were ever, were ever in Reina. Reina. <laughs> yeah. So th- this group went through, like, it's, it truly is, it truly was a group. If we cared at all about this group, they'd be a great group to do a history of, Oh, absolutely. Of, but but there's just so much there, and I just, yeah, I don't care about them at all. It would take so much effort for a group I for care For a group so I do not about. know, uh, like, much about, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... No, this this is like the definite like we talk about our new goose sexy concepts that we dislike. Mm-hmm. This is like the definition. Right. If you want to show someone like what we mean, it's this. It's maybe not the worst in terms of They're the definitely, song. I think, one no, of the yeah. or, the originals of the new goose they sexy. They're the one of the originals. Yeah. And they don't sound like absolute shit. The girls themselves are like decent right, enough singers right. for, in it. I think the instrumental is atrocious and it sounds bad, mm-hmm. but over and like the the whole design aesthetic just feels a little is so weird. Yeah, and just that thing that I don't enjoy. But otherwise, they are the one of the originators. But dear God, do others go on to perfect the uncomfortable? The uncomfortableness after. of the new goose sexy concept. Oh God, yeah, it's so. They, it's it just, gets worse than so this, but this almost feels like a. This is like the original, the most purest of examples yes, of it. Yes. Purest in the wor- wrong word for that, but yeah. like the 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 example that like you could be like when I say new goose sexy here, this is this is the definition in the dictionary of it. Mm-hmm. It's it's our list. We always have to have a new goose sexy. Yes, True, yes. there always has to be some new goose sexy girl group somewhere showing up in these. Always, because they were cringe. So, most of them were cringe. It, it this song is very cringe. cringe. It yeah. just goes on for a while. All right. So yeah. Next one. Next. Oh, one. we got a n- nice deep cut for the next one. <laughs> a very big deep a, cut. Oh a my deep, God. super super so, deep cut. So, at number. Three, we have chocolate. There's no e, so is it? It's not chocolate, right? With their song "Syndrome." This is a group 
you have no, you've never heard never of. Never heard of them. I know. Yes. It's okay. We'll get through it together. Because uh-huh. truly, it sounds like absolute garbage, people. We're in like, we're us. in like the peak electronic noise, like low quality, Bullshit. like electronic noise music. <laughs> like everything yes, about truly. this show, like the song is low quality and low budget. It's really bad. Everything. It's so weird. Also, it has some of the worst auto tune. The auto tune is such so bad auto tune. Don't even. Oh god, it's not I even. Just, good. It's that's... not. It's bad auto tune in the way the auto tune is done badly. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I hope this girl is either like the worst singer imaginable, mm-hmm. and they yeah. had to do this to her. Otherwise, this is a this is an insult to her. Oh, absolutely. This is a personal insult to this one girl that sings the entire chorus. Uh huh. Because truly, it feels like someone had a vendetta. Because she sounds so much worse than everyone else. Ugh. Because this song also sounds so bad. I, you almost feel bad when you, like, do all this with these, like, new good groups. Because, uh-huh. like, you know, they're, no one remembers them. No one has any reason to talk about them. And they had no money. They made no money doing this. I think that is interesting is that apparently they were the first mixed race K-pop group. So maybe that is also like a reason why they did not, they kind of appeared and then disappeared immediately and like did not do well. They probably did get a lot of racism, especially back in 2011, South Korea. Yes. But But that does not excuse the fact that the song is terrible. (laughs) Yeah. And also, I feel like this group would have appeared and disappeared immediately if they were all Korean, if they sounded like true, this. True, oh, yeah. true, true. Because they really don't, they really don't sound Yes, good. yes. Yeah, they're also, just the song so, go- like, as the usual things we have about these songs, the song goes nowhere, it sounds like shit, they sound like shit. Uh-huh. Like, the usual things still apply. Yeah, it's just, I'm just at awe of, like, this group, but also all the other girl groups on this list, it's just kind of like a... It, it basically just reminds me of, like, how much I was not the biggest fan of girl groups overall back during this time frame. Mm-hmm. And, like, just, it, it, for the most part. Of course, there were some exceptions. This group didn't there. disband until 2017. Like, God, the type Good of Lord. songs that they were having them do and just the way they made their voices so high-pitched. And I was just not a fan of the overall, like, direction I mean, of girl groups then. I, I think, oh, I think compared we... to now, the girl groups are significantly better. Significantly better. I mean, you could debate every day what you prefer more or less the guys and the girl groups, but I think oh, compared to like second there, gen girl groups, yeah. oh my Again, god, I overall think that they're better these now. These second gen girl groups were weirdly very J pop because this was also the era when J pop was a little bit more influential than it is now. Right. Yeah, I remember these eras like J pop, like this almost feel like they're J pop influenced. Yeah, because J pop also has these girls singing at like at almost like unhearable yeah heights. Yeah, yeah. Like, it feels like it was a little bit of that, and then once they realize that that doesn't necessarily work for a mass audience that is not just J-pop fans, Mm -hmm. you kind of step away from that, and honestly, we're all the better for it. Oh, absolutely. It's like- All the better for it. I'm glad we're not making this type of music anymore. (laughs) Dear God, am I happy for that. Yep. All right. Yeah, thank God. Number, Number two. Two? two? Uh, oh, Because you're on with the shitty girl group trend. My God. We've talked about this group actually a couple times. But Quite a few times. We, we did, but this is probably one of the earliest This is a different mentions. context we're it talking is, about this It group. is. A different context. Totally different context. At number two, we have Stellar with Rocket Girl. Baby, I wanna go higher. Oh my god, this oh song I want to throw off a fucking cliff. So I hate you wonder, it. I hate it so much. Uh, you know, what did we Stellar, Stellar do we before? <laughs> yeah, you, we always have talked about Stellar in their Nugu sexy phase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you realize what they did before that, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe the Nugu sexy phase, well bad, and exploited it. It was better musically, for it sure. It sounded It did not shitty. sound like whatever this was. This is garbage. It's like, I mean, this, this is a, really the year of the bad electronic auto-tune noise music. Like, mm-hmm. 
It's like the auto tune really is awful. out of control on this song. Like, oh my god, they this barely so it barely sounds like a person you can is barely singing. Barely sound like people. Barely sounds like a person they is singing. They sound this song. awful. They it barely sounds like people. It. You could have told me an AI song, was singing this song and I would yes. believe you. Like it sounds that the song. Yeah, it, it, we've gone so far out with the far out in time wise that it almost goes back to being modern because it sounds just like ai music i know it's oh god like what even just why really i guess this song literally is made of bleeps and bloops and i hate it i know it. it's just so cheap because that's the other thing you can tell with it is that it's so cheaply made mm-hmm. it sounds cheap it does it and is they, it's just they uh, bury it looks cheap in it sounds cheap. for quote-unquote effect yeah but the effect is they don't sound human. They don't. they don't. You have any kind of like decent vo- like because we've got I we've heard what Stellar sounds like. Yeah. Stellar is not made of terrible singers. Like they're fine vocally. Uh huh. They don't sound like this ever again. Yeah. It's oh my god. And it's like the rapping is like ec- it feels like the rapping is like extra auto tuned. Oh god. Yeah. And, it, so much and it, combined with the fact that the rapping is already bad, it's like really. <laughs> really even worse it's just such a bad song it's, a bad, it's, it's like such it's, a bad song like all even around take out the rapping it's just like a bad new goo girl group song yeah that probably is just the rejects of the rejects of the rejects then randomly you have this man in it this man's again, randomly his rap here verse. yeah his rap verse this man this random man who is. who's just also here for some reason who is he who is he cr- who what is his name? I don't know. It's not credited anywhere. I don't know who this man no is. No clue. Who, who, who is I don't no, think he is. He's here and shows he up. It's like the early days of rap and K-pop songs. Just a random man shows the up thing. and rap. I, I think this man on. wants us to not know who he is. He's like, I don't I don't want to be associated uh, yeah, like, with this Yeah, like, please, like, I would yeah. like to distance myself from this as much please as possible. take my name off of everything. <laughs> yeah. Do not credit me. I don't want to be credited. Unfortunately, these girls have to have their name associated with this. Forever, really, which is Forever. unfortunate. Yep. Thank God. Thank God. They. I can't even say that because then Stellar would go on to do even other stuff, and I don't. I don't. I also think that that was bad for them too. Maybe it was better if this group had just disbanded. Would have saved them a lot of heartache. Maybe, but that didn't happen till later. So. Because they made better it music, takes... but they were also massively not happy. Yeah, it takes everything they were. It's doing. just the entire career of this group is so sad. It's, it's just so sad. Because maybe they wouldn't have had to resort to the sexy concept if the other concept that they were given was not Rocket Girl. Ugh. If the song was maybe not this bullshit, maybe they wouldn't have had to put them in a, in whatever the hell was going on in all those seller videos. Yep, yep, yep. God. Set up for failure. So unfortunate for them. All right, so number one. Number one. one number one, I'm gonna, we're going to put this out of the way now. It's more of a statement than it is anything else. Look. The song is bad. The song is the song bad. Would be here anyway. The song is on this list but anyway. We decided to make it number one, really, to make a statement more so than it being a bad song. We had it at like number five. Mm-hmm. It became number one because everything surrounding the song feels like purely vindictive, and I want to pun- punish people. It that are does. It does feel like an actually like evil K-pop song. Like it does. It does. It does. Very few times can you call K-pop like pure evil. And then like this feels like music. evil. Like it's evil. It feels it, like yeah, there was evil. evil intent behind it. Like <laughs> because at number one we have TVXQ. Keep your head down. <laughs> So for the people that don't know, this was the first song that came out post the, in JYJ's favor, like, lawsuit situation. Like, after JYJ won their lawsuit, Mm -hmm. this is the song that they put put out for TVXQ. This feels vindictive and evil. They can say whatever they want about it not being about that. Um, 
here it's, it's a lie to it. <laughs> you don't lie it's to a me. lie you you don't make this it's not even a thinly veiled attempt to be about the situation it's just a song about the situation and sm statement is keep your fucking head down we will destroy you yep. as if they're not the people that caused all this damage yeah no oh it's so it's, it's, cr- so it's, cr- cool. it's actually nice. insane that this is the song they're like because also it is weirdly the TV, a lot of the TVXQ fandom was also very pro the two members who stayed at SM Entertainment. Yeah, there's like some weird, I, I'm like torn on this song because it's like at the end of the day, I don't think the song is technically a bad song. The song is not the worst song, song in the world. I think this song is actually bad. Like I will, like it's not the I, worst thing I've ever I, heard, I, I think I it comes down to the lyrics and the allusion to like in real Everything life that stuff happens. happening, which I get. But for me, the reason why I'm conflicted about this being number one is like, I think as you put it prior, Sammy, Sammy in another video, you know, we, you know, we judge this based on the quality of the song and stuff like that. Oh, if we're I going off a quality of the song, if we're going off a quality of the song, technically speaking, the production compared to a lot of the other more recent stuff yeah, on this list is not bad. Yeah, but I don't think that those two you know? boys have ever sounded worse because they're truly two of the least intimidating K-pop boys I've ever seen. Like, if I had to choose, I don't Max find is them probably at all the, intimidating. I would say Max is probably the better singer of the two, but like, you know, you took away your two Yeah, but I think, this I think both of them sound weirdly, pretty probably. bad. Less I think both of them sound pretty they don't bad sound always. Good. Yeah. <laughs> they're trying to sound like hot shots and yeah. they're kind of sound like wimps. They kind of sound a little dorky. I'm sorry. They've got these like weird nasally when they're vocal doing... tones that like don't they really do. work when there's that's only why they kind of sound of dorky. Them. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're two of they're two of the weaker singers in that group and always have been. And I think for like a song where they're trying to be more they they work with a song like something together where they're trying to be like slightly more charming, slightly more fun and whatever. But a song like this doesn't work for them. They're not intimidating. Oh, yeah. They yeah. also have with the with the quality of their voices, they also don't have that much power in their voices. Right. Especially back in 2011. And then yeah, also exactly. you have the fact that this is a vindictive little song because I also think intent is important. It is. We That's also had a song thing. that had bad messaging in our good list. Right. To compare this to No More Perfume on you, a comparison no I never perfume, thought I would have to make. Not about real life events. Like, not about not a real, about real life, life lawsuit. Events. Not about a real life person. And also, so ridiculous and so over the top that it's all, like, you know it's not real. This song is so serious. It this is song very is so serious. Self-serving. It's like, you know that. This song is so who, who about the what it's hands about. from SM? To be like this song oh. is a is very much SM being like you should have been grateful we treated you like yeah. shit and that I feel like is SM's absolute mantra through its whole career. It's because SM SM is the kind of place that's like you're an SM entertainment. It is isn't honor that enough to be you? an yeah. SM entertainment trainee. Is that not why are you only here for the money? It's like because you treat them like shit and it's a job. I went and I read some like, articles about this because I knew we were going to talk about it on this episode recently. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that I read in one of these articles was like um the I don't remember who it was, but one of the two members of TVXQ who stayed there were like there were like very strong like opinion divides on the music and the music career and something they had said a response to was like we are so famous and why can't we just make music together and that's all well and good but when making well music good, together comes not- at the expense of your well-being and also like just mental well-being and like there's only so far you can go with that where it's like you're not getting paid any money you're stuck in this company who treats you like garbage and it's like, so yeah, making music together, that's all nice and good. But like, at what yeah. cost are you willing to like also, use that Also, I want to point out to anybody that's going to talk about JYJ and the whole situation, just think about it this way. Because most K-pop fans that are not on JYJ side are now younger K-pop fans that are getting into it later. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Do you like the fact that your K-pop idol wants to do this past seven years? Do you like the fact that we have older K-pop idols? Do you like the fact that we have K-pop idols that are, like, willing to do this even in smaller companies? Do you like the fact that they sometimes are allowed to, you know, buy a car or have an apartment or something? Do you like the fact that they want to make music? Because if you're not making any money, and if you're not being able to support yourself... You're not going to do this is the thing. Yeah. And sure, a lot of people are like, well, why does it have to be about the money? Because money lets you have food on the table. Money lets you have pay rent. 
Money lets you have a life. Unfortunately, money is important. So money is necessary. We live in a capitalist hellscape where money is something you need to make. And even where it's not a and capitalist hellscape, is, money is still also, relatively important. A form do you of also is want your cave of idols to be, like, stuck in a 10-year contract is shitty. There's a reason that, like, they're allowed to do whatever they want after seven years. Like, they're, sure, you want them to be around for longer, but, like, groups would fall apart super messy if you did not if with a 10-year contract would be awful and this is something that i I, it's an opinion i've been seeing going around recently because of like the writer's actor strike and stuff and i think it's an absolutely insane opinion to expect someone to be doing a job for the love of it and to not get any type of compensation back from it is actually an insane thing to both like any kind of people it's it's a weird thing that happens a lot with certain professions a lot a lot of creative professions it's a lot of creative professions and it's a lot of uh like profession especially professions that a lot of women are in oh yeah Uh, for example healthcare and uh teachers all of those professions for some reason you're not allowed to get paid in as opposed to if you just work in an office you're allowed to get you you're like i need to negotiate and i can leave at any time i want well, Love it's that. not that, that you're not That's allowed to get time. paid. It's more like the pay is No, you're not. You should be. D- really? Have you ever seen how, what people. D- teachers are apparently supposed to spend all their money on their students. They shouldn't get paid shit. Mm-hmm. That's people's opinion. Like, I think that a lot of people tend to not think. If you're if they're not in an arts profession or in any of those professions, it's like, well, you should love doing it. And I'm like, yeah, I still got to pay rent. Yeah. I got things. I got and food. And I'm like, it's really, it's like, it's nice it's to have a job that you love, minimum. sure. Like, but that doesn't yeah. mean people shouldn't And like, you can also have a job, job that you love like, that pays yeah. you. Yeah. You should not be suffering because I like something that's not profitable. Just because you hate yeah. your job doesn't mean you have to be angry at people who don't hate their job as much as you yeah. do. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's crazy. Or even if you do hate your job, are you getting paid enough to live? Right. Good. So should everybody else. But that's to say with K-pop idols that the idea that you should, like, we're famous, isn't that enough? No. Because if you're famous and you're making so much money for this company, you should see some and of also, it. What, yeah, and also, what good important. does fame actually do you outside of, like, getting you money? Like, being famous is, like, that's all, like, it's inherently, like, an ego-related thing. Like, it, it means yeah. nothing if you're famous, but you get no actual physical and, anything back yeah. from it. And the thing I see with this is that, like... I think it, I don't know about the backgrounds about the two members of TVXU that stayed, mm-hmm. but it does seem like a very, I'm in a, like, because I do know about, like, certain members of TVXU have had, like, they come from, like, less wealthy backgrounds, mm-hmm. especially, like, Jay Jung was adopted, all these other things, and I don't want to, I don't necessarily know about the two that stayed, what their background is, but it does seem like very much like a, well, I don't need the money. Some people do. Some people need to work to live. Yeah. They don't have because I it know might some not have been a need the money thing. It could have just. It just it could they just do felt like, though. It could they have just to survive. Like, no, what I'm, they were making no well, money at no, all. No, no, hold up. Paid. What I'm trying to say is, for those two, there could have been other factors. It, it, I bet you they wanted to be paid more, but it also could have been a factor of they just didn't want to deal with the legal bullshit of trying to get out of a shitty. Contract, but also the they fact that they to, do not care about the money tends to for me possibly come from an area of i don't have to worry about money which some people don't or maybe they do care they do. might not have never vocalized about it who knows i don't know maybe the thing, sm the gave them the a TV nice side deal if they did. Is maybe sm gave them a nice payout if they decided not to leave the group the thing with who the tvsq situation is that we're going on the thing of like assuming that they're on that they're trying to be villainous and choosing to be on the wrong side of things oh sm is we know of. sm like I'm well sorry, no i'm talking about the two SM members the I'm, not, I'm not i don't care about sm i'm talking about the two members in general and like we, there's know. a lot of in, be, in, in between bullshit drama that the that the public is never going to be privy to unless one of those yes. two decide to open up and do a book but you know it's they not going to happen though. because they don't, they don't have that kind of power ain't gonna let them do that so it's kind of like they're, we're just doing a lot of assumptions on those two parts and assuming they're like the evil bad guys and everything and their choices for staying, which I have no idea and I'm not going to assume it. At the end of the day, the biggest villain is, at the end of the day, SM Entertainment for not giving them at least some form of a livable compensation at minimum. <laughs> at minimum, a and livable And still continue trying not to because yeah. everything SM has done to every act after this has just made them more and more villainous because you see how they treat their... I don't know. SM just feels like a company that's they f- they almost feel like the final boss of like a like a 
like a movie or something. They feel like a cartoon villain. They are at this point. It is at very this point, villain. and they just exist in the real world. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't know. Back to this song. Yeah, the song itself, I also think doesn't sound good. I think it's just. It was made with such one clear intention I mean, that I think, think they forgot to make catch it sound me is good. Would you say better, though? Yeah. Hmm? Would you say Catch Me is better? I mean, I don't really like Catch Me. Catch Me has also the same problem where I don't think they can pull off being badasses at all. Yeah. Like, I think that they actively yeah, are I, not I, I good at it. I think why they try to do this kind of badass, not really badass, I think it's because but... they needed to show power after the situation. They needed to show that they were still on top. Mm. I think it was a strategic move. Yep. Mm. My main but memory I, of I the song think that actively now is just the um the produced Japan cover of it, which is oh, very it's better, very funny. It's just super funny cover. Honestly, <laughs> they they just scream sometimes, yeah. and I'm very into it. I almost expect Max to scream it in the but song. But the fact that they don't because they do it in Produce Japan is really funny, <laughs> and also because that they because they don't have the power in their voice to do yeah. it. How about that? Because, yeah, I mean, that cover does have, like, the two power vocals of Produce Japan in I it. I know. So. It's a better, crazy. It's a better cover, to be it honest. Because when you actually bring the correct power to the song and you take out, because the members of Produce Japan that are covering this have, they no, have no history, history with any of the of these background people. of this they song. They have huh? nothing with these people. When you take out the vindictiveness of the song, it's fine. Yeah. Like, it's whatever. I think specifically what is going on in it, inside and out. Mm-hmm. I think does affect how it sounds. Absolutely, yeah. And I think it makes it worse for it. Anyway, moral of the story, um, SM Entertainment always been the villain of K-pop, really. <laughs> Pretty much. Always been the villain. They are the villain. Mm-hmm. And it's and luckily, though, a lot more people are very clearly seeing it now, which is nice. And yet, and, and yet, yet so many people aren't still. So many people just SM has shown themselves. I don't know if they're the not. I think it's it's more again. so like they care about the groups under SM too much to not Great, give a shit about but them. But you know who's gonna get this. paid first before the groups? The company. Yeah. Like no matter what you do in K-pop, like the first people that's gonna get paid is the CEO, and if there's something left, the group's gonna get paid. Mm-hmm. SM has shown themselves to be the villain time it's and time It's fine to again, like and... SM groups, so but when you start standing SM as a company is when I start to have a You've problem. You've made a mistake. Yeah. You've made a mistake. You've gone too far down the rabbit hole. I mean, don't stand companies, really. We just don't so. stand like corporate ed- entities as like a general entities? concept of life. Yeah. Just as a concept like, of life. Like if I like certain things like games or movies and stuff like that, it's usually all due to like either the directors, the producers that are heavily involved with it, the writers of the creation. It's not so much the studio. You yeah, know what I mean? Because exactly. those are the ones who are making the shit at the end of the day, mm-hmm. you know? So. You know, just a nice little reminder for life <laughs> as a whole. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much. But that's been the worst songs of 2011. Woo! We did it. We're almost there. We're almost there. We got two more two episodes more. left. Three to- more, technically. Three more, but not. Re- I don't really count 2023 as <laughs> being a record. Isn't that like two year. separate episodes, though, really? What? No, there's a 2023 episode. There's a 20. Yeah. Well, we only have 2010 and, and we have yeah. 20. 20- 20, 20, 2009 2000 to 2000, 2000 yeah yeah we yeah. have three episodes if you count 2023 mm-hmm. yeah. but we always have been doing the best of the current year so yes yeah it fun. feels separate in a weird way pretty much we, yeah but anyway that has yeah. been our songs of 2011 we mm. are available on all major podcasting platforms like apple Podcasts and spotify we also have a YouTube channel where we post all of our episodes along with fun clip videos occasionally as well. And with that, we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.